I'm going to go over some work gloves that every homeowner should have. And I like buying a box of disposable gloves because you can use these for a lot of projects around the house, chemicals or if you're doing painting projects. And then just your basic glove is going to be either a jersey glove or a canvas glove. And these are just going to protect your hand. Lawn and garden projects, again, painting, basic work around the house. I like a work glove that's a jersey glove with a latex palm, and this is just very sticky. It's great for projects where you're dealing with anything slippery. I really like this with wooden long-handled tools so I can grab it very well. And then a basic glove you should have is a really good quality leather, and leather is going to protect you from sparks, from heat and cold, from abrasion. And I would make sure that I try on the leather gloves. Some are very thick and not very flexible. I like a style like this. I have very good dexterity. Reinforced fingertips, also the thumb and forefinger are reinforced. This has protection on my fingers and impact protection on my knuckles. So I like something like this and it's going to last you years. To these basic gloves, you can add some specialty gloves. If you're doing a lot of projects, you nailing or screwing, where you're grabbing screws and nails, a framer's glove is nice because it allows you to grab your parts very quickly if you're doing projects where you're grabbing nuts and bolts. And then for specialty projects, if you're working with glass, if you're working with anything where you could possibly be cut, these are cut resistant gloves. So these are actually made out of Kevlar and the strands of Kevlar are five times stronger than steel very dexterous, they add latex on the inside, and because these look so similar to just a standard glove, I like to mark them cut resistant, and that way I know exactly what I have, but these are excellent if you're doing projects where you could possibly cut yourself. If you're doing a lot of projects where you're dealing with vibration, so with grinders, with hammer drills, you can get anti-vibration gloves, and this has a special silicone gel that's going to reduce the vibration by 40%. And if you're doing a lot of work with these tools, you can actually damage the nerves in your hands. Carpal tunnel is a possibility. And then one other glove I would have is a good quality winter work glove. So something like this is insulated. It's a gauntlet style that you can close down for the weather. And this also has impact resistance. So basic gloves that every homeowner should be aware of.